Without Belle Isle, the Grand Prix will have to leave Metro Detroit, and that is the last thing that anyone wants. So what needs to be done in order to keep things the way that they are? Local Force Nick Monticelli has the answers from a meeting this morning. Good afternoon. I wouldn't necessarily call this meeting heated, but it did get tense a couple of times. Now, at issue here is whether or not the Grand Prix is going to stay here on Belle Isle. It's all about the contract renewal. And inside of this boathouse, the room obviously was pretty split 50 50. I want to go through what the new proposal is. So, the Detroit Grand Prix is proposing a new three year contract with a two year optional extension. They're also saying that they would like to increase their fees by 50% to give $300,000 per year back to Bell Isle. They also say they want to donate $50,000 to a DNR project every single year. They also talked about the length of, the length of time they're going to be on, on the island, their setup time, so on and so forth. Again, what's at issue though is whether or not people think they should be on the island for A, how long it is, and B, do they have a negative impact on Bell well, the opposite end of that, though, is the attraction to Detroit, all the people that come down here, the economic benefits, and what happens because or when you have a world-class event like this broadcast nationally and internationally, the attention that Detroit garners from all of that. That's the back and forth inside of the room, and it still remains a heated topic. You're selling the jewel of Detroit to the highest bidder, and sometimes money isn't everything. I really do believe that the improvement of this park, including making it a state park, is, is both a direct and an indirect uh, result of the Grand Prix being on this island. The Grand Prix's presence on Belle Isle is in direct conflict with nature. Now, despite all of this happening in front of us, what's interesting is that no decision is going to be made today. The committee in charge of this is going to take all of their comments under advisement and then eventually make a recommendation to the Michigan DNR. The DNR then gets to make the decision on this contract, and they say they will have a tentative decision on August 2nd. I'm Belle Isle, Nick Bonacelli, Local 4. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Nick, thank you.